So this is a lot here, but just to summarize, this is our timeline. A lot happens to make this uh, work. So week one, contract accepted, application completed, loan is disclosed. So on the loan side, we're going, let's make sure we get also in tandem with that, the inspections going, the home termite, well, and septic meet with, well, I guess you wouldn't be meeting with on the phone, FaceTime renovation consultant and, and the, the HUD consultant. Uh, talk to me and make sure we got all that we need as your loan officer and then the HUD consultant, make sure they can go see the property. Um, talk to your contractor, make sure they do their bid, all the health and safety repairs are included, add wish list items as the budget allows, and then uh, get that contractor validation initiated. So one time, remember you do it once, they're in our system, we're good, but um, make sure that's done. And then loan processing. So just like a normal loan, we'll be doing this. See the same disclosures, just specific to this program. Uh, any outstanding credit items to mortgage consultants, file submitted for initial underwriting approval. And if you've never done a, a conventional loan uh, as an investor yet, just remember it's a lot of documents up front. Um, it's going to be a little bit more than if you're doing an owner-occupant loan because we need every single property's documentation to, sh to show how much payment it is, how much rent you have offsetting that. But once you get that in, 24 hours, you get it into me, look at it all, smooth sailing from there. My job as the uh, loan officer is to plan for 99.9% .9 of the contingencies up front. So once we get you in the system, it should be just smooth and maybe we have to update a pay stub here and there. But everything should be up front. So yes, it's a little bit more up front and then smooth sailing from there. All right, so your loan is moving. Week two, um, receive the contractor bids. Make sure the bids get to the consultant and they do their work right up and the contractor completes their validation package. So your job is to you know, make sure they do all this. You're overseeing and walking through each step. So make sure they give us what we need. Uh, initial loan approval. So we might need some additional stuff to get the loan done, income and credit side. Excuse me. Order the appraisal with the final bid package. A loan coordinator is our processor. So any conditions, uh, just respond to us, help us get the loan for you. Prepare for the final approval. So appraisal is scheduled and inspection is done. Get your homeowner's insurance. Um, contractor validation again. Week four, final approval process. Receive the after approved appraisal, what we're all hoping and waiting for. And then the final credit conditions. So make sure we get all the stuff done for the loan. And then the appraisal will come back to us so we can make sure it's approved. So all this is pretty standard by this point. Uh, initial closing disclosure starts that three day countdown for you before you can sign. Clear to close, boom, ready to get this loan done, give you the funds. The, we'll schedule closing, make sure you can find your notary, uh, plan for it to mail back to um, KCMO. Loan is sent to closing, closing funding, loan documents, uh, funds are wired, um, funded by lender, renovation can begin. So then you're done with us, then you're just dealing with your contractor and managing and uh, all that fun stuff.